All right, I always start with a selfie on these. This is a uh, political hit video, so uh, if you don't like my my those uh, types of videos, cut it off right now. Uh, I'm mainly going to talk about Democrats or uh, Marxists and uh, and the gas situation and how that all relates. So let's get into that because uh, you know, luckily being being married to a Democrat, I, I get firsthand knowledge of this uh, whole whole thing. So let's let's go. So the, the first thing is uh, something for you to learn. You know, let's let's start with that. Okay, I uh, if if you you know if you have a, a fuel vehicle, you know, gas, uh, you, you always want to keep the tank a half full or or better. Okay, if, then that's for uh, two reasons. One is in case of an emergency, uh, like we're in right now with the uh, with the pipeline down and the uh, cybersecurity uh, uh, hack job. I guess it's, if that we're supposed to believe that. I'm, you know, who knows? I, could, I, I, I have no, uh, no evidence to say otherwise other than my intuition. And uh, so, um, uh, and the, the other reason is you will get uh, condensation in the gas tank, especially here in Florida. We're really humid down here. And uh, so it's, yeah, I try to keep my, my cars at least uh, three quarters of the way full. And thank God I do, you know, because uh, right now the gas stations are out of gas. You know, you drive around here in Florida. Um, it's it well, and, and not all the gas stations. I saw one today that it had gas and line. It was had a line of cars going in there, um, and uh, and the other one that I go to, you know, it's a huge gas station. It's got like 50 pumps or whatever. Uh, they're they're out of gas and they've been out of gas since uh, yesterday. So I imagine the next fuel truck comes in. But uh, it seems like they're running out quick. But uh, and that's here in Florida, and we get our gas from Tampa. We don't get it from the pipeline. It's just people. Uh, well, I don't want, want to say panicking, you know. I think it's smart, you know, to get out there and, and fill your cars when you can. Now, I, do you want to, if you don't have to, do you want to sit in a line of cars for, you know, two days to get your gas? That's just stupid, you know. Don't do that. Um, but if you can get to a gas station and fill up and only have to wait 15, 20 minutes, fine. Go ahead and do it, you know. Because what's, what's it's, like a, it's like a slinky. You know, imagine a slinky moving, okay. Because right now, everybody's panicking. And they're waiting, you know, two days to get their gas. Okay, well, you know, once everybody's tank is full, you know, you go back to the same spot. There won't be any cars there because everybody's already got their gas. You know, so you just got to wait it out if you can. You know, I understand if you're working and for a living. Of course, it seems like most of the nation's not working these days. But back in the day when everybody was working, you know, you, you can't take a week off of work just because you don't want to wait two hours to get some gas, you know. Um, but you can now, it seems like. But, you know, stay home, grill some steaks, man. Chill out, watch some, watch some TV, get into Netflix or whatever. You don't need to be waiting in those lines to get your gas. But uh, so what? What am, what am I getting into, and how does this relate to the liberal Democrat uh, Marxist mind? Okay, so I've I've preached this to my wife for forever. I said never let the car. So you know I you know just yesterday I said well you know what I'm I'm gonna check her car because she's she's on vacation with her sister. You know, another uh, another Democrat, and uh, so I get in her car. It's damn near empty, you know. And she's going to be gone for four or five days. And take the, take the condensation in that gas tank. You know, that's not good. It, plus the fuel pump. That's another reason you want to keep gas in the car. You you never want to expose that fuel pump. You know. So and I and I've told her a gazillion times. Never ever, you know, try to not to ever let it get below half a tank, and certainly never below a quarter a tank. You know, you got to draw a line at least a quarter of a tank. So anyway, so I luckily I got out yesterday and I filled that car up. And I also pumped up the, I got two gas cans for my motorcycle and I filled those up. So that's the first story. The second story is, uh, you know, the liberals, you know, they're all for the Democrats, you know. Uh, and, you know, this is the Marxist mind. So, you know, so, you know this just makes no sense to me. How many Democrats do you know that got big old pickup trucks or, or S, most of them have SUVs and these big cars, you know, or, or, you know, even sports cars and everything? They're slitting their own throats. You know, as soon as Biden gets that gas price up to $5 a gallon, you know, they're screwed, just like the rest of us are, except they engineered. Hey, excuse big facts. Yeah, yeah. Big facts. Yeah. Well, I didn't even see it. Don't either. be a sheeple. I got into my, my video. You want to be on the video? Sure. All right. This is for uh, YouTube. Yeah, represent. So what do you what do you think of you know the fact that Biden's taken he took down the Keystone Pipeline he uh, he 
eliminated the uh, exploration for fuel. Uh, now we're looking at the, uh, the pipeline being down and gas prices. It looks like we're going to hit $5 a gallon. It's already hit $5 a gallon in, up in the, uh, the upper, well, the panhandle. Okay. Well, I saw a few, I, I have a few different thoughts, but I think a lot different than most people. I think that America should get ready. Um, what people call SHTF. Uh, when shit hits the fan. Yep. Um, basically, Biden destroyed America within his first hundred days, which is what he probably wanted to accomplish in the first place. He's in <laughs> bed with China and his agenda is rolling smoothly. However, I think and from what my research tells me and what I know is that we might have a grace period because Mr. President Donald Trump, he is still fighting for America in the back um, on the sidelines with our awesome governor DeSantis uh, for the state of Florida and they are running and, and really trying to work up momentum and getting ready and prepared for the next campaign whether it be 22 or 24. Yeah. God hope let's the people come together let's stand up and start uh, making our rights known and um, the government the people are supposed to be controlling the government not the other way around that is what our constitution is about if you don't know about the constitution then you should probably look it up and look up what our rights are because they are one by one getting taken away and it's it's going to a total totalitarian a dictatorship america is going to fall the economy collapse i mean this is big crisis deal you guys like this is not just a Democrats and Republicans. This is about America and what we stand for and why people want to live here. It's going to be no longer. If you don't know about Venezuela, look it up. What happened to them? Because it is the same thing all over with America. Check it out. Don't be dumb. Don't just listen to the news. Thanks. Well, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, Before you run. Now, it's, it's looking to me like this is a Marxist agenda, okay? Because the first thing that we did, or Biden did, was he opened up that border. And he allowed the, uh, right. the, the communism. Yeah, well, he allowed the illegal immigrants just to pour across. Now, I don't think a lot of people know the repercussions of that, um, because right now the Colombia, I mean, not the Colombia, the Mexican cartels right. are bringing drugs across right. that border and uh, it's killing thousands and thousands of Americans. So it seems like they want Americans to get poisoned and die. Right. So that's that's the first thing that, that really bothers me. Plus having all those, I think they said it's, what does it cost in um, 600 million a month or something like that? Or we've already spent in the billions trying to you know deal with all these illegal, illegal immigrants, immigrants. Yeah. opposed to our American people yeah. and our veterans that have fought to keep this country yeah. what it should be and what it has been in this glorious, especially with these, what I really think, honestly, because my parents are in the baby boomer age, I think they're so glossed over by the concept that they've lived such this glorious kind of life. Like America was really good and popping it, but that is, those days are over with. And I think, um, between the youth and the people that are really paying attention and seeing the flags are like, wait a minute, this is not the America that we always knew and grew up in. And as far as you're concerned with open borders, there are a lot of things to be concerned about. Yeah. And the number one thing you could just say, do you lock your doors at night? Why? To protect yourself from the bad guys. And I'm not saying that everybody on the other side is bad, but right. like he brought up the cartel and the drug smugglers and all of that, the sex trafficking. Oh my God, don't even let me get started yeah. well, on- Well, it's really, it's really human trafficking, human. slavery. It's yeah, slavery. it's slavery. And so the Democrats are, the, once again, the party of slavery as they were during always. the Civil War, yes, as they were during always. the- I think that that's been their agenda for a hundred years and now they're finally getting the opportunity. Now also, what do you think about the fact it's not that, just that, but it's yeah. also about the economy. So there's so many different factors that that mm. take yeah. place in our border control. It's not like we're like, oh, no, it's our people stay out. Yeah. It's really for our protection. We're not like, oh, we don't agree with immigration coming over and doing things the right way. Hello, America is a big melting pot. We're all freaking immigrants. But we took on the Constitution and what America stands for. So there is a yeah. vetting process to make sure we are going to stay America. Yeah. That is the whole point of the process, okay? And we right. do understand, um, what's it called? For the refugees, we understand asylum, things like that. There's certain you know, protocols and things that they they really need to smooth out and work in place for, yeah. for sanctions and things like that. But ultimate, ultimately, border control is so, so important for numerous reasons that will eventually take down. All right, what do you, what do you think of the, uh, the takedown of the middle class and the uh, small businesses? It's really, first, first, we small had, business. First, first we had the lockdown 
Okay, luckily here in Florida, we weren't for very long. I mean, DeSantis was just trying to get his head around what was going on. And you got to give him credit. He pretty much opened things up pretty quick. Yes. But these other states, it looks like, and they left the Walmarts and they left the Targets. The monopoly and they big left companies the, the big companies. The big the woke, government. the big woke companies, okay? I mean, look at Disney. You know, now they're teaching uh, uh, Mar um, uh, Marxist ideology that, uh, you know, cr critical race theory, that all white people are bad and, you know, we need to be a divided country. I mean, it's, it, it's so what we... There's a lot of subliminal so they, messages yeah, so they, that have been going on yeah. and it's called, um, what's it called? It's called, a, 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 forget the word right now. You're be kind of brainwashing, but there's another word for it. It's... Um, Indoctrination. That, and then there's also another word and it's very small and steady programming kind of programming and mind control it kind of goes into all of that but it's so steady yeah. kind of like the uh, analogy with the boiling frog so yeah. why does a frog die in a pot of water that's going to be boiled well he doesn't know he's being boiled alive because it's so gradually happening because i mean it's a frog you just jump out of water right well if it's boiling it's so gradual you're not seeing that anything's going wrong and then all of a sudden before you could actually do anything, it's too late, and he's dead, yeah. right? So that is the yeah. same exact thing that's going on right now. Well, and also the, the, the other thing, that the, the bankrupting of the country and the de devaluation of the dollar, you know, because we'll never longer be the uh, world's reserve currency. And, of course, no, we've moved all our manufacturing to China. Now, do you agree with me? I think that uh, uh, Biden's in, in bed with China to destroy the United States. 100% we're going yeah. towards a one world order. He's 100% been in bed with China. They have an agenda for yeah. that, for communism, for one world order, cashless yeah. society. Um, so that dollar is going down and he's not worried about it one bit because he already has plans. We don't know all the details of those plans, but we can pretty yeah. much see what's going on. It's going to be oh, a digital I'm... currency, right? Yeah. The dollar is going to be gone. So whatever savings and dollars you have, and this is something to, that should really raise red flags and concern Americans because whatever savings and dollars that you have, that's going to be flushed out and gone and be valueless. Right. right. Yeah, I've been, I've been going for. into the precious metals myself. Right. You know. Silvers, so that's a, so, gold, yep. things that are going Platinum, to be commodities yeah. and, and worth for trading and Of course, and barter. You know, we're, we're too late on some of it. You know, you could have bought into copper. copper. Copper's way up. Copper. You know. Well, I didn't, I never... Internationally, it, scrapping it, different things. Yeah. I mean, it sounds... Yeah, the other thing that I, I did was, uh, you know, I bought a, uh, a motorcycle that gets 100 miles to the gallon. So I was preparing. I, I knew Biden was going to run the gas industry for sure, you know, so... Uh, so All right, well, I, I just I want to give a couple of tips because I'm huge huge on prepping and I yeah. am a light and I, I believe that uh, I have a good gift of wisdom and discernment for my age for, for starters let me just say that I am 35 single mom um, business owner that is currently living with my parents um, to make ends meet and provide for myself right now I have a college yeah. education I have my BI in business administration I did and um, emphasis in marketing and administration and minor in psychology. So I'm very well educated. I've been working all my life and I have a small business. I'm an artist, acrylic custom creations. Please check it out. Uh, uh, you know, support sure. small businesses, please. And um, other than that, like this is kind of where we are. So as far as prepping for America, things that I am doing right now without giving away too much I, that I saw off YouTube, which YouTube's a really great uh, resource to check out some preppers. Even uh, yeah. there's this guy. Well, the ones they aren't banning. City prep, right. There's yeah. city the preppers. The ones that we're censoring. The ones sensible that... preppers, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so this, so main things, right? You got to, got to think of all the systems that are going to go down. Like cashless society so the money system um there's pharmaceuticals what are you going to do when when there's no pharmaceuticals so you got to think about food pharmaceuticals, yeah, natural secure, remedies natural, natural remedies, remedies right yep. you're exactly. planting you got to get your plant your gardens yeah together. i put a garden in my backyard I've, and i've been telling people to do that so. especially for those that are on um, pharmaceutical medications because yeah. once everything's down and people are out to protect their families there's not going to be doctors nurses all this mm. stuff to protect you or give out pharmaceuticals. So you have to have that plan in your back pocket. What about the Second Amendment and, and uh, preparation there? You have to have security. Security yeah. is number one. I think there that everybody should own a firearm for own protection. I do, I'm a single mom. So, I mean, I'm young. I am having lessons and getting my concealed carry. Um, all of that to, to teach me how to properly use one, which is yeah. very important. I don't recommend owning that if uh, you don't properly 
learn how to train yourself, but I think that everyone should own a gun. Um, I do have knives, a machete. I love survival stuff anyway, so yeah, it kind of yeah. already. Yeah, I do a lot. Of, I do a lot of hiking in the Ukiah yes, forest and whatnot. Hiking so. and camping. Um, so with all that being said, you should know how to make a fire. You should uh, know how to boil water because yeah. we're, we're kind of blessed where we are. I don't know if he says where our location is. Um, we're in central Florida. It's very resourceful with natural resources yeah. and we have a lot of springs. But for a lot of people out there that don't have clean water to drink, you're going to have to boil it. So therefore, you're going to have to learn how to make a fire. Well, I'll give you a tip there. You can always buy a kite and water filter and then you can pump water from this pond over here and yeah. just drink it, you know. Right, but I'm saying, I'm yeah. saying for those for, that are... For the average is, person, yeah. Yeah, for that well, don't it, have to I've always, I encourage all my uh, followers to go back backpacking you yeah. know and stay out in the forest see for, if you for can do it yeah if you can, five days yeah if you can make five days or a couple of weeks then you know you've got everything you need to know for to, for survival absolutely you know and uh because you your house is on your back and be sure you know you're traveling from location to location you don't just hole up in one spot and think you're backpacking you know right but so that's a that's a biggie right there because it takes uh, it took me years to outfit my whole backpacking uh, ensemble <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get that, get that prepared. So, have a, have yeah. a preparation. Have a goal. Have a, you know, a list of things. If the, if you, if the yeah. end of the world, or let's say a power outage, this is another thing, big thing, which yeah. could come from either a natural disaster and a crisis, like say a hurricane, right? You'd want to be as prepared as you can if a hurricane comes. You get yep. your flashlights. You get your batteries. Um, I, I, uh, on yeah, I encourage list, them rechargeable batteries. Right. You know. Solar, solar panel. You can get the small solar panels yep. now off yep. Amazon. Generators. Um, Things like that, yeah, uh, I, like you, I, I a natural a, disaster, but let's say yeah. either uh, from natural uh, meteorites that are going to hit the power grid or maybe uh, a terrorist, a foreign terrorist that's going to try right. to um, smash our power grid. Do you know what that means? That yeah. means no more communication. That means no more cells. That means no more YouTube. That means no more digital communication. Communication is down. Yeah. That means you can't pick up the phone and call mom. Right. What am I going to do? Call your child. What am I going to do? That is wiped out. So yep. you and your family should have plans written down and already being prepared and knowing what's going to do. It's not yeah. a matter of if, it's a matter of when, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I have a, uh, I bought a solar generator and the reason that I did that, and I, I might have told this story in a previous video, was uh, I was in, in 2003, I, you were very young or not even born. I don't, let's see, I, I guess I'd have to do that. Oh, well, I you appreciate were, that. You, you, I, yeah, but, I graduated but, high school. Yeah, you were, okay. But I, uh, so, you know, up, I was up in Michigan, and remember we had that power outage, and it was out for, I don't know, four or five days, and it was devastating because everybody had those diesel Can powered. You imagine four or five yeah, days. Yeah, and, and pe people, people had those diesel powered generators or even gas and uh, and you would hear them sputtering down the road da, 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 pop, pop, you know and so they all ran out of fuel and you all the gas stations were closed because they had no power and so with a solar generator you can you'll always have power as long as you've got sunlight of course and even through the clouds you get a certain amount of wattage right. now the, the problem there is the battery technology right. you know there, everything has its drawbacks you know well, everything there is has some its drawbacks secrets and tricks if you if you really start preparing and you look into some things that, that can yeah. naturally charge your batteries and things like that yeah um but this did go Are you got any suggestions there other than what we've talked about you said there's some that I was I thinking, know, wouldn't it be cool there. if you could have a bicycle that you know one of those bikes that you just pedal and it'll charge up your uh your, there's your one but there is one and all i'm gonna say i'm gonna be very vague about it it comes from the female's human body and their natural acidity levels so oh. if you want to youtube that and learn <laughs> about that i'll have to check that detail. one out all right females are very resourceful remember yeah. we create babies we yeah. make the babies so right. we have cool. a lot of we have a lot of secrets up in here <laughs> all right well, anything you want to add just at the end here because um, i guess we've better wrap it up yeah well, i, I might pretty, have to cut I'm, this into two videos right, i'm pretty sure we went full circle going back to the gas and the gas problem so yeah. uh, i have a friend because i am in some prepper groups so if you're not i suggest trying to link up in a community get in some yeah. prepper groups start prepping start doing your research to help you get prepared if you thought a power outage or a natural disaster that would last long term even if you you know don't want to think of conspiracy and you just want to look at natural disasters like a hurricane that would go out or yeah. just this covid whatever you want to believe and look at a natural or a natural crisis how long do you think you'd be able to survive write down your survival list what your items would be and put it to the test like you yeah. said go out go back yeah, if you, if, you, if you can't do backpacking, you know, camping's the same thing. You still have a half of a lot of the equipment, 
Uh, and I'm talking primitive camping. I'm right, not talking going, not talking going RVs, to a, luxury. you know, RV camp. I'm talking go to a rough place, tent, you know, where, where it's in tent the the in the middle of the woods, you know, and then stay there for a week and see how you do, you know. Uh, food one, on the fire. Yep. And so that's another thing. Um, so canned goods. So as far as food's concerned, your main things to stick to, you want to have seeds, right? You want to have beans. Canned foods last forever. So beans, um, corn, wheat, and... Uh, Corn, wheat, seeds, and beans. Yeah. I think I'm missing one. That's okay. That's all right. You could learn that. But yeah, gas. Yeah. I mean, just look what's happening. There's so many red flags. And um, what do you, oh, so my prepper friend, real quick, just to give you an example, he said, I'm a prepper. And all this is happening going down with the gas right now. And it so happened that it's when I'm on vacation, like 350 some odd miles away from my home right now. And this crisis is going down and he, he, he's freaking out. He's like, I wasn't prepared for this. You know, so yeah. this just gives you an example. You could be out on vacation. Oh, it, there's family, no way away there's, from your family. Yep. There's no way to prepare. Every time I, I think I've got all right. my bases covered, something smacks me in the head and says, oh man, you know, you don't you weren't prepared you know well we're not so, completely yeah, we're yeah. not we still have plenty of time as far as i'm concerned yeah. i like to have a five ten year at least ten year plan in place uh i think everyone should do that and that america should start just to wrap it up we yeah. the people we the people on top of the constitution our rights we own the government we should be able to overthrow this government there is enough people in america i mean majority of us pretty much know that that was an illegal election fraud oh wait maybe we should beat that out so well i'll have to cut that down. out because right. yeah youtube will take down yeah, that video take that down yeah so we're just beep it and people actually what it. i almost saw on rumble you know what i'll just throw this up on rumble so that that'll be good but it's like i see so many people talking and prepping but it's like what are we actually going to do about it and that's the hard part, but community is very important, and uh, let's come together. We have been United States of America for... 200, 200 some years. There yeah. you go. So let's yep. fight to keep that together. Go USA. All right. We'll end Thank it right you. there.